Today we're gonna find out who is the better fighter. My peacock mantis shrimp Kush. Oh. Oh. Or my one in a million super red mantis shrimp. Both of these guys are absolute menaces. So let's go back to this morning when I first noticed my mantis shrimp was hungry and decided to feed him. Okay, so he's roaming around his tank and that usually signifies that he is hungry. I wanted to make it clear though that he is a peacock mantis shrimp as well. He's just a variant of the peacock mantis shrimp and instead of being green or blue, he has this super red beautiful color. You guys sent in a bunch of great name suggestions for the mantis but the name I'm going with is from the movie The Shining and it's Red Rum. We're gonna be naming this guy Red Rum. I almost went with Hellboy, but I think Red Rum is my favorite name. So now let's see how he acts during his first feeding in the new tank. First, I'm gonna grab some red claw crabs. These are great nutrition for the mantis shrimps and they're fresh water, so they're guaranteed to not have any parasites. Okay, so I dropped the crab in, he's right there, and the mantis is coming out now, he's looking at his own reflection. Ooh, hopefully he doesn't punch the glass here. But I know he smells something in the water. So let's see how the mantis shrimp can use his senses right now to track down this crab. Usually it takes him a few minutes of getting acclimated, and I'm not going to cut the footage here, so if you want to, you can skip ahead. But for everyone that stays and wants to see the mantis shrimp plot out his attack, he's really just getting acclimated to the lights above him. I think he already knows that the crab is down in this vicinity, and now he just has to get the balls and go down and plot his attack against him. Okay, so the crab just ran up on Red Rum, and I don't know if he knows if this is a friend or a foe yet, so let's see what he does. Oh my god, an arm just flew off. There we go guys, he's getting it now. Alright guys, so now that he has control over the crab, it's over for him. He's gonna just eat him slowly, limb by limb here. But that was basically the point of the feeding, so you know, there's not much you can say. What I will say though is that that was a pretty impressive feeding. I don't know if it's gonna be more impressive than when we feed Kush here in a second. But that's the point of the video, we're gonna see who's the better fighter, so let's get into it. guys I dropped the second crab in here Kush is in his cave of death right there and let's see when he starts to notice him like I said earlier it always takes the mantis shrimps a few minutes to get acclimated and then out of nowhere he'll come out and be ready to fight Beating his ass inside there. Whoa. Oh, guys, look at that. Mm. 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 
Okay guys, so that was a genuinely pretty quick beatdown from both of them. I thought that Kush's performance was absolutely stellar. He wins another fight and that makes his record 101-0. This guy is just stacking up wins recently. You can see his raptorial appendages right here as well as his boxers. That's what he uses to punch shrimps, crabs, crayfish, whatever you want at the speed of a 22 caliber bullet. It all comes from those boxer appendages right there. The mantis has already punched him to death basically, so now he's just going ahead and eating some of that sweet, sweet crab. partway through eating his crab and Kush likes to play with his food and I had to tell him stop pile driving that crab son. He kept pile driving it until finally his father had to tell him to stop. Overall I'm gonna give Kush a 9 out of 10 for today's fight and I'm gonna say he won the competition. He is the more fierce mantis shrimp and to prove so I'm gonna hit you with a throwback video of Kush eating some glizzies. Let's get into it. Okay guys, we're gonna try to give him this worm here. See if he likes it. For fish, he loves these. Oh shit! Guys, what was that? Yeah, buddy, grab it. Grab it. Oh, there you go. There you go, bud. Yeah, guys, he's grabbing it. Oh shit! He's grabbing it though. You can see this mantis's punch. I mean, it's unbelievable. His punch is unbelievable. Take it off. All right, so the mantis has eaten now, but I still have some really cool fish that need to eat tonight. One of them is my scorpion fish over here. This scorpion fish is specifically a leaf fish, and he's called a leaf fish because he moves like, well, a leaf or a piece of paper. He floats in the water column, and he looks like he's basically nothing until you see him attack. Oh, guys, he ate him inside the hole. That was insane. It has poisonous glands attached to the dorsal, anal, and pelvic spines. So if you were to grab this guy, you could get sent to the hospital or at least hurt really badly. And throughout these videos, you can see him progressively changing color. That's because that's another ability that the leaf fish has. The leaf fish can use its camouflage and extremely fast bite force to hunt fish and be an actual predator. And that's crazy considering that he's, well, kind of dumb. To see what I mean, look what happens when I put this minnow inside the tank. I bred this guppy myself. The leaf fish sucks in water and he uses this to eject himself forward and he's moving towards that fish right now. I'm going to come over to the side, I think he's about to eat it, and boom. If you like this week's video, make sure to give this video a like and in the comments section let me know what I should name this angler fish. Some of y'all got to name my mantis shrimp so this is your opportunity, I'm choosing what the fans like, let's go.